Hi students, now we are going to discuss about metallurgy in 12th standard first volume, first lesson, metallurgy. The metallurgy it is used to relate the science and technology of metal. In nature, different type of chemical compounds are there. Those chemical compounds which contain specifically metals are there. The metal exists in or metal found in nature or free state as well as a combined state. Free state means those metal is a naturally or natively occur in mind. Combined state. Combined state means those metal can be combined with oxide, sulfide, sulfate, nitrate, halide, carbonate, silicate and phosphate also. So, in general or in nature, the metal exists in different forms. Pure metal shows the sign and the malleability, signing and the malleability. However, in the most of the metals exist in nature with different properties. Different properties. Metal having very high reactive, metal having very low reactive. Certain metals having very low reactivity elements are there. Very low reactive metals are there. For example, copper, Cu, copper, then copper, silver, aram, and platinum. In these metals are very low reactive metals. Those metals only exist in free state or native state. Other metals, for example, in the alkali metal, alkali earth metals, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, francium, alkali metals, alkali earth metal, second, first A group elements, another one, second A group elements, beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, radium. Most of the D block metals and in the few of the P block elements exist in only combined state with the oxygen to form of oxide. Oxide. In the sulphate, combined with the sulphate to form of sulphate, metal sulphate, sulphide, metal sulphide, metal oxide, metal sulphate, sulphate and metal sulphide, metal phosphate, metal nitrate, metal bicarbonate, metal carbonate, metal silicates are there. Okay. So naturally occurring metals exist in two different forms. One is a minerals, another one is a ore. Now we are going to discuss about minerals, minerals and ores, minerals and ores. So naturally occurring metals exist in two different forms, one is a minerals and the other one is a ores. What is the meaning of mineral, what is the meaning of ore? Those metal can be combined with oxygen to form of metal oxide, sulphide to form of metal sulphide, sulphate to form of metal sulphate, in then silly in then silicate to form of metal silicate, phosphate phosphate to form of a metal phosphate, in then carbonate to form of metal carbonate, bicarbonate to form of metal bicarbonate. Those compounds all are minerals. Those compounds all are minerals. So in the, in the compound which contain high specific compounds or high percentage of the substance or high percentage of the amount of metals known as a ore. In the compound which contain low percentage of the metals known as a minerals. So two types of natural occurring substances are there. One is a minerals, another one is a ores. In the compound which contain high percentage of the metals known as a ore. In the compound which contain low percentage of the metals known as a minerals. Known as a minerals. Then, in then for example, iron metal exists in around 800 minerals. Iron metal found in, iron metal occur in around 800 minerals. In among the 800 minerals, in the hematite and magnetite ore which contain maximum amount of iron metal. Remaining all compounds, hematite, what is the formula of hematite? Fe2O3 hematite. 
tin stone s n o 2 tin stone in the hematite magnetite fe2 fe3 o4 fe3 o4 hematite fe2 o3 magnetite fe3 o4 those compound which contain those compound which have highest amount of iron metal other was what was copper pyrite cu fe s2 in the in the iron pyrite fe s2 in this then carbonate iron carbonate fe co3 in then fe so4 side right in then spell site so iron sulfate iron carbonate iron pyrite copper pyrite in this ores which contain low percentage of the iron metal so in the low percentage of the iron metal present in this compounds known as minerals these compounds all are minerals of minerals of iron metal minerals of iron metals those compounds which contain highest amount of high percentage of the metals known as ores so hematite and manganites are ore of iron so hematite and manganite which contain highest amount of iron metal that's why this substance is called ore copper pyrite iron pyrite siderite and ferrite these substances which contain low percentage of the metal of iron is known as minerals so all ores are minerals but all minerals are not ore in the ore it is used to economically conveniently it is used to extraction of metal but minerals cannot be used for the extraction of metals another one examples are there pack aluminum ore pack site Al2O3 dot X moles of water molecule. It is a pack site. Formed of a pack site Al2O3 dot X moles of water molecule. Okay. Or then one moles of water molecule. Silica clay. Silica clay or China clay. Al2O3 dot SiO2 dot H2O. Al2O3 dot SiO2 dot H2O. It is a ores of aluminium. Pack site is a chief ore of aluminium metal. It is a minerals of aluminium. In the pack side ore which contain maximum amount of or highest percentage of aluminium metal. In the China clay or in the silica clay which contain low percentage, low amount of aluminium metals are there. So those compound which contain high percentage of the substance or high percentage of the metals known as ores. So Al to O3 dot H2O it is a pack side ore. Pack side is a chief ore of aluminium. It is a ore. Another one, Al2O3 dot SiO2 dot H2O, low amount, low quantity, low percentage of the metal present in China clay. That is, these minerals cannot be used to, conveniently used to extraction of aluminium metal. That is why it is not a ore, it is a minerals. All ores are minerals, all minerals are not a ore. Okay. The next one, in the extraction of metal of interest can be obtained from the ores. By using of different methods are there. Then the first one, concentration of the ore. Concentration. Concentration. Concentration of ore. Concentration of ore. Another one, extraction of crude metal. Extraction of crude metal. Then, refining of crude metal. Refining of crude metal. The extraction of crude metal, refining of crude metal, concentration of the ore. So metal can be extracted from the ore, consists of the following three type of process are that. So extraction of metal interest can be obtained from the ore. So consists of the following three methods are that. One is a concentration of the ore, another one is extraction of crude metal, and the last one refining of crude metals. First one, concentration of the ore particles. Concentration of the ore. Now we are going to discuss about concentration of the ore. Concentration. What is the meaning of concentration? Concentration of ore. What is the meaning of concentration? Concentration. In general, in the ore particle associated with the non-magnetic non or non-metallic impurities. Ore particle associated with the non-metallic impurities. Rocky material, siliceous matter associated with the ore particles known as a conch. Conch is nothing but ore which contain number of impurities. So, in the ore associated with the non-metallic impurities, 
rocky material and siliceous matter siliceous matter associated with the particles known as inner cork in the preliminary step of metallurgical process is removal of impurity from the ore particles so in the process in which removal of impurity from the ore particles known as a concentration of ore several type of several methods are available in the choice of methods depend upon nature of the ore particles type of impurity and the environmental factors is a depend upon nature of the ore type of impurity and the environmental factor it consists of different methods are there in the first one hydraulic was hydraulic hydraulic was or gravity separation method gravity separation method hydraulic was or gravity separation method in the hydraulic was or gravity separation method is specific for ore having high specific gravity separated from the conch having low specific gravity is mixed with the running of water it is a simple concept it is a principle of hydraulic was or it is a main concept main theme of a hydraulic was or gravity separation method so in the hydraulic was or gravity separation method specific for or applicable for ore having high specific gravity separated from the conch has low specific gravity mixed with running of water running of water for example in the one inclined slopes are the inclined slope or inclined beaker or inclined stand in the inclined stand contain number of grooves inclined stand which contain number of grooves are the grooves in the crushed concentrated ore is a placed on the grooves crushed concentrated ore placed on the grooves and in the current of running of tap water current of running of a tap water passed over on the in the concentrated ore particles by using of running of water in the lighter impurities particles are washed away heavier ore particles only settle on the grooves in this method otherwise called hydraulic was or gravity separation method the hydraulic was or gravity separation method is applicable for ore having high specific gravity separated from the conch having low specific gravity is a hydraulic is a hydraulic was or gravity separation separation method in the hydraulic was gravity separation method is mainly applicable for commonly used for oxide ore for example in the hematite fe2o3 tin stone so2 tin stone so2 in the chrome ore iron chrome ore chrome ore feo feo cr2o3 oxide ore oxide 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 magnetite fe3o4 magnetite cuprite ce2o cuprite so all oxide ore first concentrated by hydraulic was or gravity separation method in the next one froth flotation process froth froth flotation what is the meaning of froth flotation process in the froth flotation process commonly used for commonly used for concentration of sulfide ore for example galena what is the form of galena pbs pbs galena zinc blend ezns zinc blend galena pbs in the zinc blend ezns copper pyrite CuFeS2 copper pyrite iron pyrite FeS2 cinnabar HgS lead sulfide galena zinc blend iron pyrite and the iron pyrite copper pyrite cinnabar in this ore all are sulfide ore in the sulfide ore first concentrated by froth flotation process so the froth flotation process is mainly is applicable for in the concentration of sulfide ore in this method in the ore particle wetted by using of oil 
in the ore particle preferentially wetted by oil which can be used to separate the separated from conch particles okay in this method in the consist of in the crushed ore particles placed in beaker or in the crushed ore particles suspended in crushed ore particle suspended in what mode in the crushed ore particles suspended in water in the placed in a beaker or any other container then frothing agent what is a frothing agent pine oil eucalyptus oil in the pine oil and the eucalyptus oil is ordered to the earth. it is also ordered okay next is in the froth can be separated by or group froth can be generated by using of in the blowing of compressed air so compressed air in the compressed air so pass through mixers in the flow blowing of compressed air it is used to create the froth so the froth is generated from the mixer by using the air of blowing of compressed air okay in the ore particle easily attached the ore particle first when they wetted by oil so ore particle easily attached with the collector of sodium ethyl xanthate during this process the ore particles strongly attached with the froth and rise on the surface of the substance rise on the surface of the solution because of in the froth contain ore particles wetted by the oil density of the oil very very low than the water molecule that is why the ore particle can be combined with the froth is always float on the surface of the water molecule or surface of the what in the substance or surface of the liquid then next in this froth with ore particle skimmed off and dried up okay next in the conch particles in the conch particles preferentially wetted by water molecule is always settled in bottom of the beaker bottom of the beaker okay next one when the sulfide ore can be extracted from the froth fluidization process which contain other sulfide ore act as a impurity other sulfide ore act as a impurity in the impurity sulfide ore can be separated by using of depressing agent sodium cyanide or sodium carbonate sodium cyanide nacn or sodium carbonate na2 co3 solvent in the sodium cyanide and sodium carbonate is selectively depress the or selectively in the what in the remove the unwanted sulfide ore particles for example in the zinc sulfide is a impurity lead sulfide pbs is a ore particles now we are going to now we are going to extract the Lead sulfide as a concentrated ore particle, but which contain what impurity? Zinc sulfides are there. Both compounds are ore compounds. It is a zinc ore. It is a lead ore. But in this process, we are extract the lead sulfide ore, lead the sulfide ore, lead metals. But which contain excess of amount of zinc sulfides are there. The zinc sulfide can be removed by adding sodium cyanide, adding sodium NaCN, sodium cyanide. the sodium cyanide it is used to prevent the froth mixed with the zinc sulfide in the froth only mixed with the lead sulfide and rise on the or float on the surface of the liquid surface of the liquid that's why lead metal can be extracted in the zinc sulfide can be prevented the zinc sulfide can be combined with the sodium cyanide in the form of a layer of complex na na2 ezn CN4, CN4. The complex formed on the surface of the compounds. Okay. In this process, a froth to flotation process. Next one, leaching. Leaching. Leaching process. What is meaning of leaching? The leaching is based on the the crushed ore particle dissolved in suitable solvent. The solution is a aqueous solution. so crushed concentrated ore particles dissolved in suitable solvent to form salt of metal or metal salt or in the metal of interest or the interest of compounds are formed interest of compounds in the conch remain insoluble conch remain insoluble filtered off in the conch removed as a waste it is a simple process in the different type of leaching process are there one is a 
in the cyanide leaching cyanide leaching cyanide leaching cyanide leaching ammonia leaching acid leaching base leaching then four types of leaching process are there first one cyanide leaching what is the meaning of cyanide leaching in the concentrated ore particles like a silver and ore in the cyanide leaching process mainly is used for the make arthur forest cyanide process the make arthur forest cyanide process it is used to extraction of in the highly concentrated metals like a silver and ore so in the silver and ore highly concentrated metal can be extracted from make arthur forest cyanide process in the silver metal can be extracted from the argentite ore silver sulfide so sulfide ore means the first kind of survive flow through fluidization process already we have learned in the ore metal can be extracted from the alluvial sand gravel sand placer gold scattering gold vein gold the alluvial sand alluvial sand in the gravel sand placer gold vein gold in all substances are sulfide ore that sulfide ores of ore metal first concentrated by flow through fluidization process in the previous topic we have already discussed in flow through fluidization process in the what is meaning of leaching process in the crushed cold ore leached with leached with aerated dilute solution of sodium cyanide or potassium cyanide so ore metal au for example ore metal au in the ore metal leached with leached with sodium cyanide or potassium cyanide cn minus sodium na plus cn minus aerated aerated means air is ordered diluted diluted means a water molecule addition of water molecule so ore metal leached with cyanide aerated dilute solution of cyanide to form water soluble water soluble ore cyanide complex au cn twice minus au cn twice minus ore cyanide complex compounds are there the conch remain insoluble what is the conch formed in this process in the alumino silicate the conch alumino silicate remain insoluble in the alumino silicate conch removed as a waste plus oh minus ions are formed oh minus ions the next one in the rm metal recovered from the rm cyanide cyanide complex compound which treated with zinc dust so au cn twice AU CN twice minus can be treated with the zinc dust to form in the EZN CN4 CN4 2 minus plus AU precipitate cyanide AU precipitate in same process also takes place as a silver metal silver AG2S is treated with the CN minus to form in the AG cn twice minus plus in the what sodium sulfide na2 s is removed sodium sulfide it is argento cyanide complex compound it is ro cyanide complex compound both ro cyanide complex compound argento cyanide complex compound compound water soluble substance in the argento cyanide complex compound contain cag is recovered by using of zinc dust ezn zinc dust to form of zinc ezn 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 cn4 2 minus plus silver get the precipitate ya aram get the precipitate get here silver get the precipitate the both process are make arthur forest cyanide process those make arthur forest cyanide process contain a aram metal or silver metal can be leached by cyanide cn sodium cyanide or potassium cyanide compounds are there which contain conch alumino silicate removed as a waste in this process known as a cyanide leaching in the cyanide leaching first form of a rm cyanide argent rm cyanide complex compound argento cyanide complex compound that rm cyanide argento cyanide complex compound further treated with zinc dust to form of a zinc cyanide complex and get the precipitate of a rm metal and a silver metal here in the rm contain a plus 1 charge can be reduced to form of zero in this also silver exist plus 1 in oxygen state of complex can be reduced to zero in this process known as a cementation process 
cementation 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 process the process known as a cementation process okay next one ammonia leaching ammonia ammonia leaching second one ammonia leaching in the cluster ore which contain nickel copper cobalt in the nickel copper cobalt is treated with aqueous solution of ammonia under reduced pressure under suitable pressure okay in the nickel copper and cobalt it can be combined with ammonia to form of in the stable compounds of n i n h 3 4 or 6 6 2 plus complex copper exists in cu n h 3 4 in the 2 plus complex cobalt exists in co n h 3 5 h 2 o h 2 o 3 plus complex are there 3 plus complex 2 plus 2 plus complex are formed in these complex are more stable substance water soluble more stable substance in the water soluble more stable substance can be obtained from the ore leaving behind the conch the conch of iron oxide that means called iron trioxide fe3 oxide is nothing but fe2o3 is so fe3 oxide in the next one feoh thrice ferric hydroxide another one aluminosilicate as a conch so in the ore leaving behind the conch in the conch of in the ferric hydroxide, ferric oxide, ferric hydroxide, and aluminum silicate is a remain insoluble substance. Those insoluble substances can be removed as a waste. Okay, in this process is ammonia leaching process. Next one, alkali leaching. Alkali. Alkali leaching. Alkali leaching process. What is the meaning of alkali leaching? By using of alkali, sodium attraction, potassium attraction, magnesium attraction. Alkali metal hydroxide leach with the certain metals. The alkali leaching process in the method in which it contain crusted ore or crusted powder ore is a soluble in metal hydroxide, especially alkali metallic alkali metal hydroxide, sodium attraction or potassium attraction. For example, aluminium metal. The aluminium metal can be extracted from oxide ore. What is the formula of epoxide? Al2O3 as a epoxide. In the epoxide, solid substance is dissolved in aqueous solution of alkali sodium hydroxide, NaOH. It is an aqueous solution. What is the meaning of aqueous solution? Two types of solutions are there. One is aqueous solution, another is a non aqueous solution. Solution which contains solute and solvent, solute small quantity, solvent large quantity. In the small quantity of solute is always dissolved in large quantity of solvent to form a solution. Two types of solutions are there. One is aqua solution and one is non aqua solution. Aqua solution means the solution which contains solvent as a water, known as aqua solution. The solution which contains other than water act as a solvent, known as a non aqua solution. So, sodium hydroxide pellet dissolved in water molecule to form of aqua solution of sodium hydroxide. So, in the epoxide solid substance is treated with aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide in water molecule H2O liquid to form of sodium meta aluminate aqueous solution of NaAlOH4 aqueous solution of sodium meta aluminate are formed in the sodium meta aluminate sodium meta aluminate sodium meta aluminate Sodium metal aluminates is a, is a heated, this is the process, heated in the 472, 520 Kelvin, maintained at 35 atmospheric pressure. The oxide ore is a treated with aqua solution sodium hydroxide in water, heated at 472, 520 Kelvin and maintained at 35 atmospheric pressure to form of a sodium metal aluminate. In the hot solution of sodium metal aluminate, first decanted and cooled, then diluted and neutralized by passing carbon dioxide. The precipitate neutralized by passing carbon dioxide. What precipitate? What is the name of the precipitate? Sodium metal aluminate is the name of the precipitate. So, sodium metal aluminate AlOH4 is treated with carbon dioxide gas. 
aqua solution of sodium at aluminate treated with carbon dioxide gas. In the sodium at aluminate, further can be decomposed to form of precipitate of Al2O3 dot in the X moles of water molecule plus sodium bicarbonate NaHCO3 aqua solution can be removed. In the alumina, Al2O3 dot X moles of water molecule alumina further filtered off and heated 1670 Kelvin. 1670 Kelvin to get the pure alumina. So, in this process, impure form of alumina Al2O3 can be converted into pure form of alumina Al2O3. The process known as alkyl leaching by using of a aqua solution of alkali heated 1670 Kelvin. Okay, next one acid leaching. Acid. Acid leaching. In the acid leaching process is a specific for the concentration of sulfide ore. Sulfide ore. Sulfide for example, iron pyrite FeS2, copper pyrite CuFeS2, in the zinc sulfide, zinc blend, and one is a galena BBS, cinnabar HGS. For example, zinc sulfide EZNS, solid substance of a zinc sulfide, is a treated with a concentrated sulfuric acid, HBSO4. Aqua solution of constant sulfuric acid by passing air to form of zinc sulfate EZNSO4 solid substance plus sulfide plus H2O2. H2O2. So, insoluble sulfide, insoluble sulfide ore can be converted into soluble sulfate and elemental sulfide sulfur. Elemental sulfide. So, so acid leaching process, acid leaching process is a concentration of or leached by the sulphide ore. In the sulphide ore leached with the air in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid to form of so insoluble sulphide can be changes into soluble sulphate and the elemental sulfur sulfur. Next one, magnetic separation method. The magnetic separation method is specific for ferromagnetic ore particles. The magnetic separation method is based on the difference in between magnetic ore particle can be separated from the non-magnetic impurities. For example, tin stone, SnO2, tin stone. Tin stone have magnetic ore particles. In the tin stone which contain non-magnetic impurities of wolframite. Wolframite. Wolframide is non-magnetic, non-magnetic, magnetic ore particles. Tin stone means a magnetic particles, magnetic ore particles. So tin stone is a magnetic ore particle, wolframide is a non-magnetic ore particle. In the magnetic ore particle can be separated from the non-magnetic impurities of a wolframide in the uh, use for in the magnetic separation process. In magnetic separation process, another one example is that in the chromite and the pyrolusite, chromite, chromite and pyrolusite. In the chromite and pyrolusites are magnetic ore particles, which contain in the non-metallic siliceous impurity. Non metallic siliceous impurity in the non metallic siliceous impurities are non magnetic ore particles so in the magnetic separation process is a specific for or applicable for separation of ore magnetic ore particle from the non magnetic impurities for example in the crushed ore is a then poured on the or crushed ore is a poured on the in the magnetic separator in the magnetic separator consists of consists of in the pelt moving over a two roller two roller pelt the pelt moving the pelt moving over on the pelt moving over on two roller which one is magnetic in the ore particles in the ore particles is a poured on poured on the pelt moving over a two roller which one is a 
in the magnetic in the magnetic ore particles stick to the magnetic roller and separated on the or fall on the heap in the heap placed in near the magnetic roller another one non magnetic impurities non magnetic particles the non magnetic impurities fall on the another heap fall on the another heap in this the heap is placed in just far away from the magnetic rollers okay so in this process known as a magnetic separation process magnetic separation process is applicable for the separation of a magnetic ore particle from the non magnetic impurities non magnetic impurities in the magnetic ore in the magnetic separator consists of a in the what belt moving two roller which one is a magnet in the crushed ore particles is poured on the magnetic belt in the magnet in the ore particle move stick to the in the magnetic roller and fall on the heap that heap placed in near the magnetic roller another non magnetic impurities is a placed or non magnetic impurities is a fall on the another heap that heap is a placed in a just far away from the magnetic roller okay okay students today topic over the next topic we will meet the next video thank you